Johnson City. Shortly after this will be uh, Stonewall, which will be the home of Lyndon Baines Johnson. Stonewall is 16 miles and Fredericksburg is 31. The goal today was, oh, that's pretty. be our halfway mark. Four and a half hours from Grizzly Pines and about four and a half hours from uh, Stillwell Ranch. Stillwell Ranch is the goal for tomorrow night. I figured that in Junction I could stay at the uh, South Atlanta River State Park. But I think I'm going to get there entirely too early to want to stop driving. I normally only like to drive about two to three hours, and I've been driving nearly six, and I feel fine. Yeah. Yeah, I left at 6.37 a.m. I stopped briefly in Brenham to check to see if I could get a new battery, and uh, of course we heard that story, those folks who just bless their little bars. Um, and then we got to uh, Bastrop, and that's where we stopped up. We got tires serviced, got the HEB stocked up, I got the Walmart supply run done, and we're rolling. We've been rolling ever since we left the HEB there in Bastrop. I had every intention of stopping at the liquor store, but I figured I got enough liquor to last for a little while. Maybe in a couple of weeks. We'll go up into Alpine and see what kind of little liquor cabinets they have over there. We have been at Grizzly Pines Campground right outside of Houston for the last four and a half months. Loved it, loved it, loved it. But it's time to move on. And I cannot dispute the fact that I'm looking forward to a paid gig. Yeah, buddy. I hate the idea that there's a truck in front of me, but I want to show you guys Fredericksburg, Texas. This little town here is so much fun. You come in, park your car, and you go from wine tasting room to wine tasting room to wine tasting room, and on and on and on. You can walk out on the streets, you can carry it down the street, you can shop for antiques, and you can shop for chocolates. And then you can stop and have another glass of wine. It's a real fun little store up here. Very nostalgic. I'm looking for it so I can take a picture of the front for you. But it's Dick's Five and Dime. Five and Ten Cent Dick's. Oh no, it's Dooley's Five and Ten Cent Store. Where was Dick's? It's Dooley's Five and Ten Cent Store. Oh, you know what? I think Dix was in another state. I think Dix was in Missouri, now that I think about it. Okay, well, I stand corrected, made a fool out of myself. Uh, I'm a little over the top there with the headquarter hats, don't y'all think? It's a little, a little redunculous. Well, I knew it was going to be slow going coming through town, but I didn't think it was going to be this slow. Only because of a most unusual load up there. He's barely clearing the red lights.
beautiful city park off here to the right. Paul and I hung out there one time for, seems like it was his birthday, I'm not sure. He smoked a peace pipe with an Indian statue. I remember that. up in here. We're coming into the junction. I rolled the windows up so I can talk. I'm going to have to roll them back down in a moment. Coming into the halfway mark for today, it was only supposed to be four and one half hours. I've been uh, six hours. I've been eight hours on the road. Eight hours. I've been eight hours on the road and I'm just now getting to the halfway mark, which should have only been four and a half hours. But I did take a few stops. I did run some errands. Did get some service done. Did stock up on supplies. What does calm dot android dot phone has stopped what does that mean does that mean i have no service there's cell phone towers all over the place coming into junction texas westbound exit 456 I'm driving into the park headquarters for the South Llano River State Park. I'm on Park Road 73, about a mile and a half away from the headquarters. I'm going to call it a night. I've been driving for eight hours, and it was only supposed to be a four and a half hour drive. Got a deer already. Several. We're en route to campsite number 35. There's 27. I'm 35. I wish I were 35. If I was 35 and knew everything I know now, mm, mm, mm. That's the second casita. Actually, one of the camp hosts is in a casita. number 31 so this must be number 33 yeah she said I'll have a nice shady lot there's 35 right in the middle of the sun mm -hmm. really nice back end lot though all right cover picnic area All right. Oh, man, I, I couldn't get any better at backing this thing up if I was skilled. That's just beautiful. We're on our way out west. We're already west. We're just on our way farther west. <laughs> 